Again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And this is part two. And we have love bugs flying everywhere, so please pardon me. And I'm trying to decide if I want a gold moon or a copper moon. And I kind of would like a combination of the both of them. But um, in any case, I think we're going to start by making a line of demarcation with my little friend, which is just a bamboo skewer dipped in some gold paint that I made stars on my last painting as a part two, which you guys will probably have seen or will see shortly enough. I'm going to take that out of there and I am going to attempt to find my glasses. There they are. Very good. And I'm really tempted to see if I've got a spoon, and I do. It's stacked up. 14 tongue depressors and some other stuff, but um, my plan is, what is my plan? My plan is to make sure it's shaken up. I've got a lot of wind today, so I'm really afraid if I, if I use a rivulet of... I'm afraid if I do anything. <laughs> That it's probably going to blow around. So I'm going to try my hardest to make this work out without overdosing the gold or getting wind blown. I probably could have taped it off. But the paint was is still damp from yesterday, so I'm not sure that that would be a good idea. Kind of looks like I'm going to need a second coat, but I may add some paint to it. It depends on how it decides to lay down. We'll see. While I I may add some stars to my background, I think this is going to be my surreal, funky Halloween scape with a little black tree against the against the moon and. Probably some bats. <laughs> my name, my last name is Batsell. I, I think I'm entitled to make a, a fluid acrylics painting with some bats in it. Now I also think that I don't want to get, I don't want to swallow all of that too thoroughly. I do want to use all of my gold. I think I'm going to go ahead and, and risk some more gold. And see if I can sort of flatten it out by running my skewer. Around the edge of it. Just sort of give it a chance to be flattened or spread. and hope that if I catch it while it's fluid enough that I can fake it. Because I'd kind of like it to be nice and smooth and I really wanted it to be quite large. I was playing with this uh, while I was editing it and I did a digital manipulation to it and accidentally, well it was accidentally, um, put in a rose-colored planet, and it was so cool looking that it made me think it was okay to go ahead and try this. I'm not sure I have the the roundness I'm after. No, I think I need a little more over on the other side here. I'm usually okay with circles. And the canvas is somewhat dry, so I could probably, in all possible respects, I could probably fix it if I needed to. My hand's a little wobbly these days. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but um, I think I'm going to grab a, a skewer. That's a strong breeze. I'm glad every time it blows that I don't wind up with something I don't want. 
in my artwork. I'm trying to figure out how to make this smooth and I'm not coming up with any great ideas thinking I should have added it first. I'm going to go back to the using the spatula and try and keep my hand out. My thumb and my nails. And the moon has some texture anyway, right? So. Maybe I can blow some of it around. Maybe I'll try and knock some off. Just lay it in there. And then time to see if I have, yes I do have, some tubing. That's actually a pretty cool texture. I'm impressed. I didn't think it was going to be that cool. I'm really happy my canvas is not flying away too. Somehow I know if I spread some rain -X on there I would probably get some really interesting patterns, but um, I'm also just not that interested in taking a chance. Wow! <laughs> okay then, I can feel water blowing on me from my bucket behind me. I'm going to put some very vague stars in the sky. I have, it looks like, some spaces I want to go away, at the top here, not that the moon is probably flat and smooth, or whatever moon on whatever planet this might be. Still using my paint left over from my last painting. Oh, and getting rid of love, bit, love bugs landing on me. So I don't mind that that much. I am going to blow it again. I see over here. I sincerely wonder how that's going to dry, honestly. And I doubt my. my stars and uh, I can't put my tree in now no matter what because the moon has got to be shiny on backlighting it and that means I can also put some more stars in I kind of want to take the skewer highlight the edge of things that 
would have the moonlight shining on it. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link. I can't imagine anybody still here watching me fool around with what we've got here right now. It's just sort of tedious, but I like <laughs> I like watching the highlights for the moonlight shining down. It's pretty cool watching dimension be added to something. Just a little here and a little there. Makes all the difference in the world. It makes everything sort of pop out, which is really neat. I think, anyway. And I will be back to make another tree, but I'm wondering... That right there... Is showing me that my moon is just not as round as I would like it to be. It's lopsided. <laughs> I don't want it to be lopsided. That's a little better. I'm not unhappy with that. It's an improvement. And I don't mind that all the shadows kind of look like topographical. They make it, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a cheese moon. I always said that the moon was made of cheese when we were kids. So, that's, um, <laughs> that's less than impressive so far, but hopefully once the tree hits it, it'll be a lot better. I love you guys. If you give me a thumbs up, it would help my placement. Maybe. On YouTube. Assuming that things ever return to normal and people start watching my videos again. Even though there's 80,000 subscribers. It's kind of strange that uh, something somewhere has glitched up and I stopped getting views. So I really appreciate those of you who are viewing me. And um, I really appreciate you guys giving me a thumbs up and watching longer. I might get a paycheck. <laughs> If you watch the commercials and uh, the YouTube algorithm, they tell me, knows if you watch longer. So even if you didn't watch the commercials, if you watch longer, somehow that would have helped. I have, um, that's actually kind of cool. I have an Amazon link underneath the video. And eventually that adds up to being something that's... Uh, worth having. That is a lopsided moon, at least upside down. And I thought I was doing myself such a favor. That's Every time I do that, I think it's better. And then I look at it, it doesn't look better. Full moonrise, yeah, a little tree right up there in the middle and some bats. Be very cool. All right, I had a crib sheet, but it blew away, strangely enough. And uh, like I said, I don't know that I need too many more stars in the sky if I can come back and add them when I put my tree in. And I'm basically just taking up airspace and your valuable time with my dotting of stars and rounding of moon. I think my skewer tip is broken, so now I have some really big stars, but actually they're looking pretty cool.
and I will see you guys in on. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the backyard, picking up things that blew away, telling you check my end screens on my video for the contest where you can have a chance, if your name is drawn, to pick one of the two paintings or win a credit to buy an artwork. And if you donate to help me out and you don't want that, you can probably get a signed copy of my book called Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link, which is also right under the video, along with lots and lots of other cool art supplies, plenty of which I buy myself. So thank you guys for all the morale boosting comments during these interesting times. And um, thank you for contributing in the past to keeping me painting. I really appreciate all that. This is bizarre, but it's also kind of cool, and I don't think I mind it that much. Although I keep wanting to fix my moon. And I will see you guys in on. On the end screens, there's 840 videos. I finally figured out the number. I love you guys. And uh, I expect there's going to have to be part three if I'm going to put a tree in here, so I'll see you then. And I'm surprised if you're still here, because this was probably really, really boring. But, um... Binge watch some other more interesting videos, please. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.